If you're a woman, trans, non-binary, or genderqueer in any way, this video is for you. Refining your sexuality and spirituality. Why? Because you matter. Why? Because you have safe space. Why? Because your body is perfect exactly as it is. Who you love, how you love, all of that belongs right here, right now. Welcome to a supportive environment. Welcome to a time on your mat where you can explore your sexuality and your spirituality together to create the truth and the essence of who you are. I'm so glad you joined in. My name is Salima, yoga therapist, and I'm the lead mentor for Yoga Vision's Kundalini Yoga Teacher Training Program. And community is key in this program. Learning how to support each other, learning how to be there, to be a witness, to express ourselves fully and completely in the practice is what this program is all about. 12 months online, people from all over the world exploring this sacred wisdom tradition for our highest and best good, to keep us safe, to keep our nervous system strong. And if that sounds like of interest to you, click the links below, book a discovery call. I'd love to get to know you and see how this program could benefit you. Without further ado, let's get going. Sit up tall and straight in your chair. You can take a seated position on your mat as long as your body is comfortable. Take a few breaths now with me. We're gonna use our hands as a way to gauge the breath. As you inhale, squeeze your hands into fists. Inhale, squeeze. Hold the breath, tense and hold. And then exhale through the mouth, release your hands. <sighs> Inhale very deeply, squeeze, tense, hold. Exhale. <sighs> Inhale very deeply, squeeze, tense, hold. Exhale. <sighs> Beautiful. Give yourself a little shake now as you prepare to concentrate, to move yourself forward, to bring your consciousness onto the mat. We'll use a mantra to do that. Press your palms together at the center of your chest. Sit with a tall, straight spine. Press your thumbs into the bone of your chest. Gently close your eyes. Listen to the first sound of the mantra, and then join me for the second two. Closing your eyes now, inhale, exhale, inhale very deeply, exhale, inhale and let's tune in. Om. very deeply. Set your intentions for today's practice. And softly exhale. Relax your hands all the way down to your knees. From here we'll do a few rounds of spinal flex and then a series of warm-up exercises to prepare the body for today's practice. So keeping your hands on your knees with your eyes closed, inhale, press the spine forward, and as you exhale, roll all the way to the back. Take a look over at Vanessa. She's demonstrating today. Vanessa is a good friend of Yoga Visions. She's a graduate of our Kundalini Yoga Teacher Training Program and a mentor for that program as well. Vanessa will show you modifications for today's practice and also be there to guide as I instruct. Inhaling as you come forward. 
and exhaling as you roll your spine all the way to the back. 26 vertebrae now, moving in order to raise your consciousness, in order to move the energy through your nervous system. You can start to speed up the movement now that you have a sense of it. And remember, as you flex the spine forward, really lift your chin up so that you have full elongation of the spine. Last few seconds. Beautiful. Inhale very deeply, come to center, and exhale completely. We'll take these movements into a slightly different position, moving onto your hands and knees now for cat and cow. If you need a little cushioning for your knees, you can fold up your mat so that you have a little bit of extra cushion or grab a towel or a blanket so that you have a little bit of cushioning underneath your knees. Once you're comfortably in place, make sure that your hands are underneath your shoulders, knees are about hip width apart. And from here, press down into your hands. As you inhale, look up to the ceiling, drop the belly low, and as you exhale, round the spine, look towards your knees. And continue that fluid motion, inhaling as you look up, and exhaling as you round the spine, looking towards your knees. This is a slightly different way of exploring all the movement available in your spine. And remember that your spine holds the main channel for your nervous system, your spinal cord. And so this is where your body and your brain connect with each other. And so making sure the energy is flowing, your spine feels loose and flexible is a really key part of this practice. Kundalini yoga is the yoga of awareness. Awareness meaning alert, awake, alive. And with that awareness, you get to start to shift your perspective, to come out of old habits, old ways of being, so that you can live your true self. You can find your true self-expression. In many countries in the world, those rights, the right to express, are jeopardized. And so I want you to know that right here, privately on your mat, you have that ability. You have the power to express. So let's do that. Inhale very deeply, hold steady here, and exhale completely. We're moving on from this position, so you may want to adjust your knees and your hands so that you feel very comfortable. Here we're extending opposite arm and opposite leg. So as you inhale, extend opposite arm and opposite leg all the way out. And then as you exhale, put everything back into the neutral position and then move to the opposite side. This is really good for creating stability around the navel center, for creating strength around the navel center and giving you the power to express your truth. In yoga, we're working on many different fronts, combining mental, emotional, physical, and energetical, energetic ways of being and using posture, breath, mantra in order to bring about that energy and those connections. Doing great, go at your own pace. (laughs) 
last two rounds. Good, take a moment here and bring yourself all the way down so that your forehead rests on the ground. This is called child's pose. Child's pose is the first part of our series of movements now. We're still warming up the body, still preparing for the Kriya ahead. Kriya means set of exercises. So from here, making a connection to the ground below you, feeling solid and stable inside of your body. And from here, inhale and come up onto your knees. Inhale, reach up and back, lean back slightly. Exhale, come back into tabletop position. Turn your toes over, come into downward facing dog. Good, take a moment here, drop your knees down and then fold back into your first position, into child's pose. There you go, that's the flow that we're working with. We'll do about five rounds. Inhale now, reach up and back. Exhale, hands to the ground. Inhale, reaching your buttocks towards the ceiling and then reversing the movement. Let your breath move with the practice. So each movement comes with each inhalation and exhalation. You can go as fast or as slow as you need to. You can modify in any way that feels good for you. What matters is that you're here. What matters is that you have shown up for you. Notice where you need a little bit more warming up. Notice where your body is ready to give you a little bit more and lean into those places. This is your last round. As you take a moment now to listen to your heartbeat, to feel your breath, mentally prepare for today's Kriya, refining your sexuality and spirituality. Slowly make your way up into a seated position with your legs crossed. The first exercise here is called body drops. And here for body drops, you'll be using the strength of your arms to lift your body off the ground. Now, remember that you can go at your own pace and the um, distance that you lift your body off the ground just has to be perfect for you. So I'll explain the full practice and then let's find some modifications that may suit you, depending on the kind of day you're having. So what I like to do is bring my hands into fists and bring those down onto the ground. And then as I put my hands down onto the ground, lifting the, my body up at the same time. So you can see that Vanessa's lifted her buttocks up and that's perfect. And then you can lower down. Now fists may not be comfortable, so you can put your full flat hand onto the ground. And this will work best if your arms are a little bit longer or you can just keep your palms on the ground and mentally lift yourself off the ground. So the distance that you are able to lift off isn't really what's important. More important is that you're keeping a length in your spine and you're also stretching up and doing it with intention. 
So inhaling as you lift up and exhaling as you lower down. We'll be doing this for about two minutes. So really buckle in now, close your eyes, concentrate and do your best. lifting your body off the ground. This movement stimulates the shoulders, relieves pressure around the shoulders, and also stimulates the root chakra at the base of your spine. So as you're moving in this way, we start to loosen up the energy, free up the energy of consciousness, of Kundalini, by stimulating the base of the spine. Keep going, you're more than halfway there. Last two, and last one. Nicely done. From here, we're moving into the next part of the Kriya. This one is really interesting and unusual. Bring your hands above your head, and then almost as if you were clapping, but not quite. So you're circling your hands above your head, and almost as if you were clapping, bringing the hands together. That's it. So you want a little bit of force here. Good, and so feel almost that you're Feel as though your chest is contracting as you bring your hands really close together, almost as if they were going to strike each other, but not quite. So big open circles and creating a vortex of energy around your heart space. This gives you freedom to express, this gives you freedom of movement, and also an opportunity to come close, but not, not strike. Last few seconds here. Last two rounds. Good, nice work. Relax your hands down to your knees and just sit for a moment, noticing the spirals of energy we've created. And notice the benefit of this ancient wisdom tradition, this cultural practice that comes from India and still serving us so powerfully to this day. We're moving back to body drops. So here, staying in place, bringing your fists down to your sides or palms straight down, lifting up the body and lowering down. We're here for just a short amount of time. So do your best, inhaling as you lift up and exhaling as you lower down.
Inhale very deeply, hold yourself up, lift up, squeeze root lock, squeeze anus, sex organs, navel center, feel the energy rising, and then slowly, gracefully relax your body all the way down and sit with a moment with your eyes closed. So that's good stuff. You challenged yourself and now you start to feel the benefits. We're moving to the next part of our practice. Now, if you need to change up your seated position, you can do that. Grab a bolster, a block. You can even sit on a chair for the next few exercises so that you really have a sense of feeling supported and feeling lifted in your posture. From here, bring your palms together and curl in your pinky finger and your ring finger and keep your index finger and your middle finger extended. This is the mudra that we're using for today's practice, this part of today's practice. Extend your arms all the way out in front, lock your gaze, and from here, inhale, bring your arms all the way up above your head best you can, keeping the elbows straight and then lowering down. So inhaling as you lift up and exhaling as you lower down. Continue on, go at a pace that you can sustain. We're here for just about a minute. And so keep focused on your breath. That's really gonna help you. Inhaling as you come up and exhaling as you go down. Last two. Last one, leave your arms all the way up, hold here. Squeeze root lock, squeeze anus, sex organs, navel center. Feel that energy go all the way up your spine like an antenna right through your fingertips. Nicely done. Release the breath and slowly, gracefully relax your hands down. Taking a moment here, let the energy circulate. Bring your hands into fists for the next part of our Kriya and bring your thumbs outside of your fists. And from here, we'll be taking your, your hands and bringing them in circles around each other. So this is really good for the brain, circling your fists around each other, just around the center of your heart and going as fast as you possibly can. Just move, move the best way that you can. This is coordinating both hemispheres of the brain and allowing a dialogue between each part of that, of your brain. The left side more cooling, more relaxing, more represented by the feminine and the right side masculine, analytical. And these are old ways of thinking, but at the same time, coordinating your hemispheres of your brain is a really important part of making sure that your nervous system is working powerfully. Keep going, keep going, keep circling. Feel as though you're creating energy between your hands. Usable energy, workable energy for your transformation. Remember that if you're looking for long-term sustainable transformation, Kundalini Yoga teacher training is the way to go. The links below in the description box will send you over to my website, book a discovery call there, and let's talk. Let's find out what you want to do with all of this amazing energy that you have to express in the world. We're almost there. Take a deep inhale, hold steady, and exhale. 
Softly relax your hands down to your knees. You're gonna take a moment here quietly reflecting on your intention. As you sit, sense the community that surrounds you. All of us sitting together, right here, right now, across the world, supporting, aligning, and working towards a future that is safe for all of us. Good, let's move on now. You can adjust your seated position, maybe recross your legs if you need to. Here, taking a mudra and putting it behind your head. So grabbing on to opposite elbows with your hands and then bringing that mudra behind your head. Good, nice work. From here, take that strong position. Inhale here up at the top and as you exhale, bending forward as far forward as you can. If it's a little bit, just an inch or so, that's great. If your forehead touches the ground, that's great and then come all the way back up. So we're leaning forward, inhaling and exhaling as you go all the way down as far as your body will take you. If that's just a little, that's great. If it's halfway, that's great. If it's all the way down, that's fine too. Inhaling as you rise and exhaling as you bow forward. We're here for just about two minutes. So really lock into your breath, lock into your journey. I've always believed that spirituality is a signal for our sexuality and that how we express ourselves is a reflection of the divine. And so how you show up is exactly how the creator wanted you to be and exactly what you give yourself freedom to do and be. Keep challenging yourself. Sometimes these get boring. Sometimes they get difficult. And what you learn here on the mat is exactly the skills that you can use everywhere off the mat. As a leader in your life, as a leader in your community, as a powerful presence and a mentor for all. Almost there. Last two. And last one. Bring yourself all the way up, tall, straight spine. Hold here for a moment. Holding the breath and softly, gently exhale. Release your arms. Bring your hands all the way down to your knees and sit for a moment. Notice the shift in your energy. Notice the grace in your movements. Notice how over time as you practice, everything gets a little easier. We're sitting quietly in deep reflection now. Keeping your eyes closed, focus in between the eyebrows and slightly above. You can bring a mantra into your mind. 
Inhaling the mental sound of Sat, meaning truth, Nam, meaning name. Gently, softly reflecting on your truth. Inhale very deeply. And through the mouth, exhale, let it go. The next part of our Kriya includes a mudra, so pressing the palms together and extending this mudra all the way up above your head. So arms are straight. And from here, leaning from side to side. So inhaling as you lean over to the right and exhaling as you lean to the left. Inhaling from side to side, finding your breath, finding the rhythm of your breath in a way that helps you keep your arms up, keeps your mind steady and focused on the movement, and allows you to really concentrate on your intention. I think of this swaying movement as a way of finding yourself steady. When things are shifting and changing, you can bend with that. Just like a tree, you can bend in the wind. And the more flexible, the more subtle, the more supple you are, the easier it is to go with the flow and be where the wind carries you. And in essence, this is a way to stay safe as well. Inhale very deeply, nicely done. And exhale completely, coming to center, and then relaxing your hands down. Hold yourself in this tall, straight spine for just a few more moments. We're moving now to the final part of today's practice, and that is to come onto your back for hip lifts. So as you turn and move over onto your back, keep your knees bent and your feet flat on the ground. Press your forearms down into the mat. Make sure that your feet feel very steady. From here, we'll be lifting the hips up and lowering down. And we're here for a little bit of time, so get into a comfortable position. Make sure that you're supporting the bo your body in the way that it needs. Inhaling, lifting the hips up, and exhaling as you lower everything back down. Hip lifts are an important way to release any hidden or locked emotions around the hip lift, hip area, and a really important way to keep the energy flowing through to your lower body.
We're stimulating the kidneys, the reproductive organs, as well as moving into the pelvis. Last few seconds. You're doing great. On your last lift, hold here, inhaling. Just challenging yourself just a little bit longer. And then softly release. Relax your hips down. Extend your legs all the way out in front. We're going to take a soft, gentle relaxation before we conclude with the meditation. Palms are facing up, legs are relaxed, and feel the whole weight of your body on the mat. Inhale here and squeeze, tense, hold all of your muscles. In order to understand relaxation, we need first to see and feel tension. So hold here with your breath, and then softly let it go, exhale. Good work. And then allow your body to just be. Let your spirit fly free. Let the essence of who you are come clear, first for you, and then for those of those around you where it really matters. Starting to wake the body up now. Wiggle your fingers, wiggle your toes, wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Bring your arms up be over behind your head, long stretch of the body, stretch. Point your toes, flex your feet, and then bring yourself over to one side so that you can gracefully come back into a seated position for our final meditation. This meditation is called Removing Fear of the Future. It's a comfy, cozy meditation that will allow you to get into your heart space. And we begin by bringing your right palm down first, and then bringing your left palm on top. From here, fold in your right thumb, and then your left thumb, and then pull this mudra close to your heart space. So the thumbs are crossing over each other, and with your hands, you're creating a secure, steady space for the energy of your heart. Gently close your eyes, and breathe long and deep. Do your best to keep a steady breath, inhaling for four and exhaling for four. Removing fear of the future. The opposite of fear is love. And see if you can bring that element into your meditation now. Love of self, love of community, love of nature, love of the future and the promise that it holds.
last few seconds here. A good time to set your intentions for what you'd like to do once you step off the mat. Take a deep inhale. Raise your arms above your head. Give a long stretch to your body. And relax. Bring your palms together at the center of your chest. Sit up tall and straight, spine of steel, heart of gold. Close your eyes now. We close our practice with a long sat, short nam. These sounds mean truth is my name in the sacred language of Gurmukhi. We chant three times together. Inhale very deeply. Sa. Please ground yourself, bring your forehead and your palms to the ground, closing off the energy of today's practice. On behalf of Vanessa and I and all the crew at Yoga Vision, thank you for being with us. And we invite you into Kundalini Yoga Teacher Training. Take a moment to scan the links below in the description box. You will see all the information that you need because this is the program that will help you to express your truth to create your voice in the world and be a leader, keep yourself safe, keep the next generation safe as well. Lots of love to you. My name is Salima, yoga therapist. Until we meet again, bye for now.